Hello everyone, my name is Mumbles, and this is Vampire Survivors. It's something different. I hope that you like this game, because I very much like it. I have a little bit of an addiction problem with it, actually. It's been kind of consuming most of my life, as it turns out, um, because it's very fun. I don't have anything against pixely games. A lot of people, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I know some people that do. And I mean, I don't blame them. You know, it's your preference. You either like it or you don't, but... I don't really mind. I don't really have nostalgia for them because I'm, you know, I wasn't really around when that particular graphic style was still like the only, the only way to make video games. But I still really like it. And uh, yeah, this game is all about the gameplay. It's, you just go around and you try to survive, basically. I mean, you're trying to survive the vampires, I guess. I don't really know if there's vampires. I know there's mummies and skeletons. Right now it's all bats, but... But it's a very simple little game, and I mean, it's it's cheap, it's in early access right now, so really, if, if uh, you want to have like a couple hours of fun, then I would I would actually recommend you pick it up, because it is quite good. I have, I've pumped, uh, I want to say like six hours into it already, over the course of like a few days, and I do not regret any of that time. It's, it's just a really fun game. There's like some degree of challenge in it, although um, to say that it's challenging is not really fair. Like the thing you have to understand is I'm basically playing this game one-handed, and I don't mean that I'm uh, that I'm gooning, you know, with my other hand. That's not what we're at. That's not what we're up to. It's more so that basically you either play it with a mouse, and then you get to do this. Basically, you just drag your mouse around, uh, hold the button down, and you just like go where you're pointing. I don't like that so much. It might be better for recordings, simply because. You know, you probably make less noise. I have like a, a mechanical keyboard, so it's got some some clickety clacks. But despite that, uh, I still would say basically like, yeah, like no, man. I prefer uh, WASD. I think you can also do arrow keys. Yeah, I, I just did and made like a massive noise because my finger slipped off of of one of the keys. But still, so it's a very simple game. You just control the movement, and essentially all of your attacks are the different weapons that you get to like select as you level up. Uh, they all have their different like ways of working. So like right now, for example, we got like garlic, which is the aura ability that is like damaging stuff around us. It's like the the three circles, the concentric rings around us, if you will. And then we got like the the fireballs that we shoot out. It's all pretty cool. But, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail, because, again, the point is, it's a very simple game. And if you're interested, like, if you want to understand it, really, the the big, the big best thing you can do, and the biggest favor you can do yourself, is just get on Steam, spend the, I think it's about, like, 2 euros and 40 cents to buy this game. Just get it, dude. It's great. I mean, worst, worst case scenario, you spend the price of a coffee on a video game. That's not so bad, I think. You could, you could definitely do worse. But yeah, I wanted to like talk about some other stuff. Basically, you know, I've been uh, I've been gone for a little bit. I wouldn't call this a, a hiatus. It's more so that I just like kind of ran out of stuff to do. I would say uh, I was doing just like killing floor two dailies for a hot minute there every single day. Basically, I missed one day. Let's let's be completely frank. I did miss that one Friday, but. Other than that, I think we were doing quite good. And I, I was having, like, a decent enough time with it. I think the problem is that, you know, I, I ran into some issues with the difficulty and my own stubbornness, basically, which maybe didn't make for the most entertaining of videos, which is kind of surprising to me, because I would think, you know, like, I'm kind of just look, look, coming at this from my own perspective, but I would almost say that... Uh, that I like to see people fail a little bit. It's interesting, you know, you might learn from their mistakes, you get to see their visceral reactions. Maybe my reactions weren't quite visceral, but I did put out, like, a, a short little video as well about uh, the Galactic, where they were. Maybe you've seen that one. But yeah, I don't just want to talk, like, YouTube shop. Essentially, I'm, I've been thinking uh, about what kind of content I want to be making. I'm still not sure what direction I want to be going in, but I know for a fact that I still want to, like, do some stuff. And uh, until we figure out what that stuff is, we'll probably just like plug away at random games. I mean, I still got Solar 2 to actually uh, finish up. Started that like a couple months ago. Still want to make that 100% save file uh, an actual downloadable thing that people can access. And I mean, it's also a very, very fun but simplistic game. So we might do like a couple videos of that. We might do some more Vampire Survivors as well. Like, right now, I can't even tell you the name of the character that we're playing. I know that he has, like, less health than the other folks, but he's got, like, more of a, a pickup radius. And he starts with garlic, which is one of the best items in the game, arguably. Um, the King Bible that we've been picking up is way better. So let's, let's like, not get that twisted. I think we're just gonna get, like, some more attacks, basically. But yeah, I just wanted to, like, discuss some stuff, basically. There's been, like, a little, little, I don't know... 
a few things, I guess, happened in my life. Not, like, anything super interesting, but we can definitely, like, talk about them. And the beauty of this game is that kind of you're in and out, uh, and it goes mostly around, like, 30 minutes-ish, and maybe you'll get to see why. I won't spoil it, you know, it's more fun to, to figure it out for yourself or to, like, watch a video about it and still, like, get amazed. But I don't know if it's gonna be this video. I can't make you that promise yet. But we'll do our best, basically, to just, like, kill some stuff and have some fun and talk about some things. We did just, like, nuke everything on the screen, which is always a good time. But yeah, I mean, not not a lot of not a lot of stuff has been going on with me. But still, I think there's plenty to, to discuss basically with, with my own little life. You know, I mentioned we we went out with my friends like one time to an actual bar that is not so I don't know empty. <laughs> I really wanted to like use the the right and least insulting word possible for that. But yeah, our, our usual hangout spot, well, great. Like I love the people that work there. I love the the vibe. I love everything about it. The problem is that uh, it is, you know, by and large, because of the, the pricing, because of the location, it's not the most popular of places, which is totally fine. Like, I think that's that's more than okay. It's just something you gotta keep in mind, basically. So we did go to a, a different bar, as I mentioned before, where there were actual people, other than us, and other than the folks that work there. What a world. And, uh, you know, I used the opportunity to nearly get into a fight with somebody. Completely unprovoked, might I add. Am I proud of it? Not really, but I think I gotta own it. So, this is me owning it, basically. So that was a thing that you've already heard about. Other than that, I've just been doing the usual thing, which is, uh, you know, getting people over on the weekends, playing some games together, war games, hanging out, like, getting getting some amount of drink on. Not that much, though, you know, we've been, we've been trying to, to keep it low-key for the most part. And just, like, you know, chill in, basically. I did recently kind of cave into the, the peer pressure, if you will, which I don't think is applicable anymore to this particular series. But I did start watching Arcane, and I'm on, like, episode 3 of it. I gotta say, man, it is actually great. It's not, it's not as if I had my doubts, but I just know nothing about League of Legends, basically. I'm one of those weirdos that I wouldn't say that I, like, purposefully avoided the game. It's, it has more to do with the fact that the one time I was gonna play League of Legends with, like, two of my friends... They were also completely flabbergasted by the fact that I, I didn't have the game downloaded and that I've never played it before. Uh, so basically they told me like, hey, okay, so you go on here, you register like an account, you do all this stuff, you gotta do like the tutorial, and then once you've done the tutorial, we'll play. Now keep in mind, this is happening at about, I wanna say like 3 or 4 a.m. on like a Friday, well actually Saturday morning technically speaking, but you get it, like a Friday evening. It was basically like we, we went out and the, the post going out plan was for some reason to play League of Legends. We weren't really uh, on top of things, I would say. So I, I downloaded the client, I, I got in, I, I started playing the tutorial. I think I even finished the tutorial, it wasn't even that long, but I just remember that uh, by the time I basically did that, which wasn't very long, again, I want to say it was like 20 minutes or so, uh, my friend, who was basically, you know, like, waiting for me, if you will, uh, had fallen asleep in the meantime. And my other friend had fallen asleep way before then. The plan was that the two of us would stay awake, and we'd wake up our third friend and then get into, like, a, an impromptu LAN party of sorts. Now, that never ended up happening. Uh, not that I really mind, but I'm just saying, like, I never went back after that. Because, like, I don't know, I didn't... I wasn't crazy about the game. Obviously, like, after the tutorial, you're, I don't think anybody's been like, oh man, this game is so tight, like, I gotta just play more. I mean, sometimes you have that. I didn't have that with League, for sure. So, as a consequence, I was a little iffy about, about the concept of a, a League of Legends animated show. I was like, I don't know, dude, like... Like, I recognize some of the characters, because, you know, like, I do go online, so you do hear their names, you do see a lot of the, the different, like, animations, you see a lot of the, the like, artwork and everything. It's, it's like, okay, cool, it's, like, in the ether, but, but I have, like, no idea what each of them does and, like, what their deal is. But turns out, like, neither, you know, does most of the population, because, you know, the, the lore for the game has been, like, rewritten countless times. So the people that, like, used to know everything about the game kind of don't at this point. And apparently the current iteration is basically what's in Arcane, so you can kind of use it as a jumping off point. And also, it's apparently the best and kind of only depiction of life in that setting. So I'm like, cool, that, that seems nice, you know, it's, it seems kind of noob-friendly and welcoming, so I'm down. And so far, you know, in three episodes, I gotta say, I like what I've seen. It's pretty good, for sure. I haven't, like, continued watching it since Sunday, but I do intend to. It's just, again, um, I think on Monday I started uh, playing this game right here, and it's consumed all the free time that I've had, basically. And you might be like, yo, what? 
what is wrong with you? Like, this is such a simplistic little game. And I don't know what is wrong with me. I've always liked mechanically focused video games. I spent uh, 1,000 hours of my life, which is quite a bit of time, actually, on Diablo 3 in a single character. I, I have a barbarian that has, like, almost 1,100 hours on it. And I couldn't really explain to you why I did that, to be completely real with you. Like, I'm kind of hard-pressed to, to, like, tell you, like, oh, yeah, this is why I did it. It's, it's like, I don't know, dude. I, I mostly did it because I had a lot of fun with that character. It's my favorite. And this game, to me, just captures some of what made Diablo 3 great for me. The combat. The combat engine. The, the, the killing of the stuff. Maybe the looting. Like, you know, I can't lie. This, this animation exists to give you dopamine. Like, we cannot ignore that. Let's be completely real over here. But, like, simultaneously, just, like, walking around killing stuff, seeing, like, you know, number go up is, is quite fun. Like, that's, that's a, a good time, man. It is a wonderful little game. And it has essentially, uh, for better or worse, consumed my life. And I mean, my life might in-game become consumed just about any minute now, because on this particular map, and I chose this map, I don't really know why, because it's like the first one, and I thought maybe it's more applicable for like a first video as a first look. Because if you actually end up getting the game, I believe this is kind of the only map you can play in the beginning, although you can very swiftly change that, basically. Uh, on this map, earlier you might have seen, like, a circle pop up around us, and uh, that's a thing that happens, and that happens, like, 10 seconds from now, essentially, again, except it's gonna be, instead of uh, the event being, like, half a minute long, it's gonna be a minute long. And as you can see, we're kind of faced with a lot of enemies that are giving us grief right now, because we can't kill these gigantic bats. So uh, we'll see if we can, like, get out of this. The, the other issue, obviously, is with this character is the, the max health, but, you know, we were able to go through the plants without, like, any problem. Um, the part that comes after this is gonna be, like, a living hell, too, because we're gonna have, like, a massive horde of dudes. So we may die, but, you know, at least we talked about some stuff, and I, I'll probably just, like, play another short one if uh, push comes to shove. But yeah, that's, I think, plenty about the game, basically. I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is I like games that are actually games, that are just about pushing the buttons, that are just about, like, looking at the effects and making mostly moment-to-moment -moment decisions. It's a lot of fun. And this game kind of does that for me. It, it does very little else. There's no story. Like, it's never explained who the vampires are. It's never explained why you need to survive. It's never explained who you are. I think the characters have names, but I can tell you what they are because I didn't bother reading them. And you might think, like, oh, that's so disrespectful to the developers that spend time on it. But I'm just like, hey, man, I don't think the developers cared that much. I think the focus was on something else. And that something else is this right here that you're seeing. Just massive hordes of enemies, like, walking at you, and you trying to murder them. And they are trying to murder us. It's, it's kind of, you know, a process. It's kind of a thing that happens. Let's just, like, get more damage on this weapon, I guess. But yeah, I really like this stuff, man. It's a lot of fun. It's very simple, but a lot of fun. I wish more games kind of did this, to be honest with you. It's one of the reasons why I really like Deep Rock Galactic as well, because the game does, like, one thing. It's, it's all about mining. You're a dwarf, you go to a planet, they tell you what you need to do, and you do it. Like, whether that's, you know, mining stuff from the walls of a cavern, whether that's, like, actually building, like, a rig so that you can refine, like, liquid materials on site. You just get a job and you gotta do it. And there's very little, like, faffing about. There's, like, enemies that try to make your life harder, but that's kind of it. Like, there's there's not, like, I, I don't know, like, another component where it's just like, oh, like, you know, like, we gotta do this. It's like, no, dude, like, you, you gotta mine the stuff, or you gotta refine the stuff, or you gotta escort the thing, or you gotta, like, there's a, a list of things that you need to do, and that's basically the game. And a lot of people might refer to that as boring, but I'm kind of like, I guess, on the other end of the spectrum. I wouldn't say, like, oh, I'm, I'm built different. I'm not, like, hyping myself up here. It's more so that I'm just like, I, I like that. I like it when, when a game, like, figures out what it wants to do, and it kind of sticks to it. It's just like, hey, man, we could do, like, any number of things. You know, in a video game, like, literally, your, your options are, are limitless. If you're willing to put in the man hours, you could probably make a video game about anything, which is kind of cool when you think about it. But there are some things that just aren't as compelling as video games. I mean, it's kind of hard to, to give a list, though, because now that I've said that, I've realized that there's Power Wash Simulator and Viscera Cleanup Detail, actual video games about cleaning up. And they're apparently very fun. I've played, like, Viscera Cleanup Detail. I haven't played uh, Power Wash Simulator, but I do want to, and that's, like, a statement I never thought I would say. If you go back in time and you try to talk to, like, 8-year-old me who was, like, getting into video games, 
or was already into video games and you would like tell like young me like hey hey man like in in quite a few years you'll say something along the lines of dude i can't wait to like virtually power wash a park then i'm pretty sure i would have just laughed in your face and would have been like nah dude that sounds lame as hell i'm way cooler than that i mean i probably wouldn't have said the cool part because i didn't have any conceptions of being cool about myself but but like still i think i would have been offended if you tell me like yeah like the power wash simulator <laughs> of course yeah yeah, that's what I'm gonna play. That's what I'm gonna spend my free time on. I'm gonna buy that with my money and spend my time on it, sure. I, I, pro I, I probably would have said something along those lines. But yeah, I think that there are just some concepts that work better. And like, you know, kind of a survival situation with like werewolves, ghosts, for some reason praying mantis is also here. Like, multiple praying mantises actually. I think that's just, you know, kind of evergreen. Like, the things are trying to kill you and you gotta kill them before they kill you. It, it just works. Turns out, like, that, that's just a cool concept that never got old. I mean, every game kind of does it. It's just fun. And this game just does it very well. There's, like, some power-ups, there's, like, some additional complexity, but, but for the most part, you know, what you're seeing is the game. And the thing is, you, can't, you basically play it in, like, you know, minute-long bursts. But it's, it's a good time, dude. I mean, we're probably dead because we never got the damage that we needed. And we, we know we, we lack the health to essentially wade through the horde. This is kind of the the part of the game where like you know you gotta go here to the the actual uh, results and kind of look at your stats and figure out like what we did wrong. And I mean one of the things I can definitely identify we we talked about some of the weapons. Fire wand. It's a great great little weapon. It shoots in a random direction and deals a ton of damage. It dealt the most damage out of everything we picked. It also had the highest DPS. However. It's also incredibly random, and because we never really upgraded it, like it only is level 3, and we didn't really get any transformative upgrades, turns out that doesn't, like, it deals a ton of damage, but it doesn't help us in every single situation. And that's why we died. And apparently the character is Poe Racho, in case you were wondering about the deep lore of this game. But yeah, you're, you're now gonna get to see the menu, however briefly. Uh, you can basically collect the gold that you make throughout the, the games that you play, and you can invest in some stuff to make the future runs easier. It's basically a roguelite in that sense. There's a couple things that are super expensive, such as revival, and I believe every single thing that you buy essentially raises the opportunity cost of everything else. So for example, I'm pretty sure before I maxed out Might over here, um, this was cheaper. Now, you can totally just like, you know, do this from the top and be like, you know what, actually I changed my mind, I want my money back, and then like I wanna readjust my points. I haven't done that before. I guess we, we could just do that and it gives us gives us back all the money and then, you know, we could be like, yeah, it is actually 10,000 if you were to get it, like, right away, which we can't anyway. So this is why it's like, you know, like, sure, you could be like, oh, but I missed out on it, but simultaneously it's like, well, did we really miss out on it if if we didn't want it in the first place? You know, that those are, those are the big questions in life, I suppose. I guess we can change, like, some of the stuff that we have in an attempt to maybe do a better job. I think we're kind of faced with the same situation where, you know, the last bit of money you can't do anything with. It's almost as if the game is beckoning you to go back and do some more actual gamage. Let's let's go with uh, Gennaro, I think is how you pronounce it. And we're going to go to the inlaid library because I think that's like a better map. I have a lot of fun on that one. It's got these little like ghosty ladies that try to blow up in your face. That's not so cool because they, they definitely can kill you, like absolutely kill you. No, no questions about it. But other than that, though, it's just like a hallway, and it's got all sorts of weird creatures in it. It's a lot of fun to kill them, just like on the other map. Turns out, the killing doesn't change, no matter the map. It's just a lot of fun to murder. In Minecraft, in video games, don't take that out of context. But yeah, so I've, I've, I've essentially just been playing this game. That's that's kind of what, what I've been saying for like the past 10 minutes. There's, there's been some other stuff, like, you know, in, in terms of, uh, like, hobby wargaming goodness, I suppose. Um, I, I wouldn't say that I started doing, like, commissions, but I am painting, like, a, a miniature for one of my friends, because he basically told me, like, he really likes the, the miniature in particular, but he doesn't feel up to the task of painting it, which I think is a, a perfectly relatable uh, situation to be in. Sometimes, you know, you want to do something, but you don't know if you can, and sometimes you really don't want to try it, because you're like, well, I don't want to mess it up, basically. I usually would say, like, oh, you know, the, the best course of action is to just, like, power through and, and realize that the pressure that you feel is just the pressure that you feel, and it doesn't necessarily mean that things will go badly. Maybe you'll do better under pressure than you think. But in this case, I'm also like, hey, man, I also would love to paint that model for you, so let me take it off your hands. 
So I basically, uh, you know, I, I'm something of a commission painter myself is what I'm trying to get at. But, you know, it's kind of a meme. It's just like one thing that I'm painting, basically. But it is, it is like a fun time. I've had a lot of enjoyment so far with it. Put down like a couple of layers of paint. It's been good to work on something for somebody else. It's a very different mindset than, than you know, working on your own stuff. Because you do have to balance out some stuff. Like, uh, the model was assembled differently than how I would have done it. And there were some things where I just wasn't willing to, to make the compromise. And I was like, hey man, like, I'm gonna go in and, like, change that. Because I know that that's how you built it. And I'm not, like, fundamentally changing the model. It's more like some of the pieces weren't cleaned off completely. And I decided to go back and go like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna clean those up a little bit. I'm not gonna clean up everything because some of the stuff I can't even reach properly now that the, the thing is like fully assembled. And that's okay, to be honest. Again, like if he wanted it to look differently, he would have built it differently. I'm just saying that I'm gonna basically change the stuff that I wanna change. And that's essentially it. So that's gonna be what we do. I guess it's a, another hobby thing, basically, another pastime. Still, you know, plugging away at work as well. Still doing that. It's been a good time. I wonder if we want to build Fire Wand again, considering last time, you know, it dealt a lot of damage, but we also basically said, like, it, it dealt a lot of damage, but it didn't do much else. I think we're more focused because we took the, the Candelabra. I think the area effect stuff is going to be more exciting for us, which incidentally means that the, the Santa Water, I think that's what it's actually called, funnily enough, um... You know, like, that does area of effect, as you can see. It, like, lobs, like, a little, uh, you know, damage zone on the floor, basically. That's gonna be quite fun for us if we get to build Candelabra up a little bit more. So, yeah, like, you know, that's that's been the hobby stuff going on in the backgrounds. And I guess I've, I've repurposed the, the video recording and editing time, however little I spent on on uh, actually editing the videos as, uh, as the time to, to get more into the, the painting side of things. I also do have, like, a couple deadlines in, in that regard, because there is an actual tournament that I'll be going to uh, next month at the time of recording this. And, I mean, I'll probably upload it very shortly. So, basically, there's going to be no time difference between recording time and live time. But uh, I don't have stuff completely finished for that event, which, incidentally, means that uh, that's something I gotta get on, obviously. So, so that's gonna be a thing, basically. We'll see. Uh, the, the actual commission, like, somewhat interferes with that. But we'll do our best, for sure. We'll just do our best, basically, to, to make make uh, both my friend and myself happy. And uh, fi actually finish everything that we need to for the event in March. I think it should be doable, to be honest. Like, I had to, to push some stuff around, but nothing too major. I think it's gonna be just fine. You know what, let's take some more area of effect. We just mentioned that's kind of the build that we're doing. We'll see if we can we can get it done. If nothing else, the, the thing I'll absolutely say about this game, it's just fun to play. Like, whether you win or you lose, it's one of those things, kind of similar to, to Killing Floor 2 Endless, where you know that the, the end state essentially is losing. And that's okay, though. Like, that is completely fine, because losing is fine if you kind of know that it's the only thing that can happen. I wouldn't even say that it's it's okay if that's the only thing that can happen. It's more so that, like, you're not gonna beat yourself up over it if, you know, like, the game comes down to how long you last and what score you can get and how you get there, rather than whether you, you get there or not. And I kind of dig that. I think that's fun. We got a candelabra and a bunch of gold. So we got, like, even larger area of effects now, which is very, very fun, because that's the build that we're doing anyway. But yeah, just, you know, like, moving your little character and seeing all the little effects, like, go everywhere. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. That's a good time. You can make some some crazy, crazy stuff with it. Obviously, like, right now we're just doing, like, a boring walk close to enemy stuff. I might try, like, some different stuff, though. I mean, there's still a little bit of time, basically. We'll, we'll take, like, Hollow Heart just for fun, because I don't normally take it. I don't think I've ever upgraded it. And a lot of stuff in this game is tied to upgrading the different, like, loot that you acquire, basically, as you level up. I've just realized, like, hey, I've never really taken that. We probably should take that. And uh, in a similar vein, if we get a chance, although I don't know if we will, if we do, in fact, get a chance to, to pick up, like, a lightning ring, then I might actually pick that up, too, and try to put some, some points into that. Because I believe there is an achievement tied to upgrading it to, like, level 4, which I haven't done, because normally I don't pick it up. Or if I do, I pick it up quite late and then end up dying. And in the few runs that have been, like, ultra mega giga successful... Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't quite, uh, haven't quite actually, like, picked the stuff up yet, basically. 
Now we got the, the time stop power up again. But yeah. As you can see, the, the wave changes a lot as the, the game goes on as well. And the, the enemy composition is quite different. I don't know if they have like different effects uh, upon touching you. I think everything in the game does like contact damage, basically. Uh, but they do like a tremendous amount of it, potentially. So that is something you gotta be careful with, basically. Honestly, for the time being, I'm, I'll, I'll take like another whip because it's quite useful with the, the cooldown reduction that we've gotten and the little like displacement that it does. It's fun. We need some health though, so let me like walk over there and, and fix that. There's some more that we could actually pick up, but I also want the XP. Let's see if, you know, being greedy kills us. A lot of the time it does in this game, that's kind of the, the lesson. Be greedy when you can afford it, I think is the lesson. And you know, like you have a limited number of items that you can carry, essentially. So that is something to, to keep in mind. I will take the health now. We're getting headless uh, zombie or skeleton men with swords. That's the actual uh, name from the strategy guide, in case you were wondering, for sure. I didn't want to take what I just took, but I think it's fine because it didn't take like another slot. I think it might just be Bracer, which we've already taken before. So if it was a mistake, then it was a mistake we made long ago. So that's totally, completely fine. We got more Bibles. More Bibles is quite good. Gotta be careful with, with those explodey ladies. They, they could definitely take us down. We do have, like, a tactical nuke available. I just don't know if we really want to, like, use it at the moment. Maybe not just yet. The, the screen is not quite chock full of enemies. I will take some more area of effect damage, because that's kind of what we're building towards. So, I mean, I'm thinking, other than the, the hobby-related stuff, what, what else has been going on? I mean, not a whole lot. I've, I've been just, you know, like, listening to music, just li living life, essentially, being terminally online and such. Even though where I live, you can kind of live a life currently, despite the, the COVID situation, but that's a, another topic entirely. I don't really know, man. I'm still kind of sick of the, the whole, like, pandemic situation, and I know it, it sounds like, and it's something that you probably shouldn't talk about in the first place, because everyone is either, you know, feeling the same, or, like, they feel even worse about it, and then they don't want to be reminded of that. So I don't know, dude. It's just, I, I kind of, it's just so depressing. Like, I feel like I gotta tune out from a lot of things because a lot of things nowadays, I guess, like, make me feel sad. A lot of, like, news stuff that you end up seeing, especially nowadays, it's just kind of disheartening. I don't know, man. It, it, I almost get the impression sometimes that people are, like, looking for that for some reason. I'm not saying, like, the news should should be candy-coated so that I don't get, like, more sad. I, it definitely is, like, a thick skin, like, get get a thicker skin kind of issue. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think it's it's quite good that, that the solution I'm finding to essentially, like, dodging some of those, those sad bullets is to just, like, tune out. To just be like, oh, I'm just not gonna engage with that stuff. Because at the same time, you know, it, it is helpful to be, like, better informed. To be well informed in the first place. But nowadays I feel like that usually means that you'll be incredibly unhappy. Because if you're very well informed, then you know of a lot of the stuff that's going down in the world. And most of it, unfortunately, is not very happy. I don't know. I guess maybe, again, the problem is with me. And I need to focus on different things. But I have been focusing on different things. I've been focusing on Vampire Survivors for like six to eight hours in the last couple of days. And it's been wonderful. And I've had a wonderful time. So I'm just saying, maybe the news needs to be more like Vampire Survivors. And they should let me get away with murder. I mean, no, 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 I, def no, I definitely didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you are having some kind of panic attack and you're mishearing things. Definitely. You can't prove that it was me, because I can still edit the video. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. Oh, by the way, if it's still in here, just don't report me to the police, please. I would very much appreciate not going to prison. It's not really, like, on my uh, bucket list to go to prison. Is, I, did, is it, like, is that a thing? Does somebody actually, like, want to go to prison? Because sometimes you see people online say it. Like, dude, like, going to prison is, like, dope, because, you know, like, you just, you just do your thing. And you don't really care? I'm just like, like, maybe, but, but like, also you're in prison. Like, I don't think the other people will have the same attitude. Maybe rightfully. Like, you know, if you're, if you're in there with, like, a stone-cold actual murderer, I don't think they're gonna be delighted that you're treating it as, like, a vacation or, like, a summer camp. I think they might get, like, a little upset at that. And I don't know if I would blame them, to be honest with you. 
because they kind of, you know, it's the, it's their punishment, and you just decided to go in because you were like, haha, going to prison is fun. Maybe don't do that if you want to, like, survive a day. Or if you do that, just don't tell people. Just, like, say that, I don't know, you did the most heinous crime imaginable, and maybe they'll leave you alone if you're, like, badass enough. I'm not really sure how that stuff works. I don't really want to, like, get the garbage stuff. I want to get the good stuff. As I said, limited slots and whatnot. You gotta make some tactical decisions, after all. I think we've already locked in most of our stuff, so unfortunately, as it turns out, we're not doing a lot of the tactical stuff because, you know, we were dumbasses and we just kind of... We just kind of already uh, went a certain direction. And hopefully that's the, that was the right direction, I'm not sure. Genuinely not not quite sure of that, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully. But yeah, do, have you ever wanted to go to prison? Because I, I haven't. I've, I've not really caught myself in a position where I've been like, oh, dude, going to prison would be great. Like, if I want the, the whole, you know, just focus on whatever and, like, not work or whatever, then I would imagine myself more as a successful, like, entrepreneur or, or anything rather than, yeah, I went to prison so that I could just, like, focus on getting jacked and just get, like, quote-unquote free food. Doesn't seem that logical is all I'm saying. Gotta knock those ladies back as we previously established. We do have the Santa water. We might as well, like, pick up more of it, I guess. We do have the whip, might as well pick up more of it. We do have the garlic. I'll stop, I'll stop any minute now, promise. I was gonna say, if she hits us, I'll be mad, but she almost did. Thankfully she didn't though. Like I said, this chest animation only exists and is only this long so that you mine the maximum possible dopamine from it. That is the only reason it is in this game. It's It gets your neurons activated. And if it doesn't do that for you, then I think you're lying, and I would like to see, like, an actual brain test, like, like, scan result of your brain when you see that animation in this game. Because I can't imagine anybody not getting excited about that. Maybe if you've already played the game for, like, 200 hours, I could maybe see that you're a little bit sick of it. Just a, a tad sick of it, I suppose. But for me, as a fresh-faced nobody, as a fresh-faced vampire survivor, I think that's who I'm supposed to be. I'm not sure. Again, I already forgot the name of the character that I'm playing. For better or worse, so deal with it, I guess. But like, you know, as as a newbie, I'm like, oh dude, I love I love them chests. Sometimes they got cool stuff in them. And even if they don't got cool stuff in them, you get money. And then you can funnel the money into useful upgrades, which is quite good. It's it's such a simple game. I just hope the bit the, the actual bitrate will be fine in the, the recorded video. Although with these uh with these high quality graphics, I think we still might be fine. I think we might be able to to make a serviceable video attempt out of this one. And either way, we're having a good time, and that's kinda what matters. But yeah, prison, man. I don't know, dude. Prison is a weird concept when you really think about it. Like, I get it, you know, people need to be punished, people need to be made an example of, basically. But, like, simultaneously, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird, like, sticking him in, like, a place with a bunch of other people that maybe didn't even commit, like, similar crimes. You gotta imagine, like, some people have gone to, to jail for, like, tax evasion, and then you got, like, the people that did, like, manslaughter and, like, break-ins and stuff. And those are, like, all on different levels, I would think. So it's kind of strange that, you know, it gets obviously not treated all the same because they might go to different prisons and they definitely get different sentences. But still, dude, it's kind of weird when you think about it. But I don't really have, like, a better alternative. So I'm, I'm just kind of, like, spitballing here, just, you know, spinning my wheels and I got really nothing to say about it. It's just, I guess when you really think about it, it's like a baffling system. I gotta imagine that, like, the first person to come up with it was kind of a weirdo. I get that maybe it stems from the whole, like, exiled from the tribe kind of mentality. Except, you know, like, when you got exiled, you, you were sent away for real. And you couldn't come back, because people would, like, probably attempt to kill you back in, like, the, the old tribal days. When, when we were just, like, essentially cavemen. I, I, I think maybe this is a more civilized version of that, for sure. But, like, again, it's kind of weird, though, that the, the exile is just, like, I go into this big house with, like, I don't know, a hundred other people and, like, think about what you've done. It's a bit strange when you put it like that, right? I mean, I guess I would, I would want to say, like, maybe it works, but I think that's inviting a lot of criticism because, you know, people have a lot of strong opinions about everything. So, like, I don't know. As someone that has never been to prison and doesn't really intend to go to prison either, 
and doesn't really interface with the people that have gone to prison. I, can, I couldn't tell you if it really works. I kind of, from the outside looking in, I would say that from like a rehabilitation perspective, there's probably better ways to go about it. But again, I'm not a professional and I, I don't really know what that would be. Like what would be the actual way to fix it. Kind of tempt, you know what, we will take a duplicator. It's just so good, dude. I wouldn't say that I've been waiting for that one, but an extra projectile is so, so handy with every single thing that we have, even though a lot of it is like area of effect. The, uh, the beauty of the Santa water is that it is a projectile that then turns into area of effect, so it kind of benefits from both. Though the garlic doesn't, but that's kind of, that's kind of on me. I just usually can't say no to the garlic. It's a lot like real life, as it turns out. Can't say no to the garlic. The other thing is, you know, there's no garlic in prison. No, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know the prison menus, dude. Maybe they do have a lot of garlicky stuff. I wouldn't know, again. This is, like, sounding so suspiciously specific denial, like, you know? Like, I'm just like, yeah, I wouldn't know. I've never been to prison. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I've never been to prison. And, like, meanwhile, you know, I, I still got the ball and chain on me. Do they still do that? Is, like, the ball and chain still, you know, in fashion in prisons? Is that a thing? Because, like, I always thought it looked kind of cool. Maybe a little bit on the impractical side, you know, like, as a fashion choice, but, but like, it's definitely kind of part of the bad boy look. Like, it's aping the bad boy look for me. Dude, we got, like, so many books orbiting us. Don't ask me, by the way, why, like, the, the Bible effect is literally, like, yo, this thing, like, goes around you and just does, like, a lot of stuff. We also just had, like, a hot chip, and now it's time to, like, spit fire. Have you seen my mixtape? Oh, wait, it's on the screen. Straight fire, yo. I, I'll have, like, plenty more bad jokes, so, like, stick around if you want to cringe some more, for sure. I can definitely make that happen for you. If, you know, you, you have your life, like, way too together, and you want to, like, purposefully induce some cringe in yourself, I would recommend to watch myself, de definitely. And, I mean, I'm, I'm not biased, because I also cringe at my own cringy stuff. But that's, I think, part of it. That's kind of a lie, though, to be honest with you. Like, I just said that, but I, I need to rectify it. It's kind of a lie. The thing is, I don't cringe at a lot of the stuff I do. There are some things that, thinking back, I cringe at, but, but making those bad jokes is not one of them, turns out. I don't really know why. I wouldn't say that I think, like, I did a good job. It's just, like, I don't mind that style of humor. If somebody else makes jokes like that, I'm not gonna be like, Ugh, please stop. I'm just like, yo, dude, that was, like, clever. I kind of appreciate it. I don't think other people necessarily do. And again, I don't blame anybody for not appreciating it. Like, I'm not saying I, I have such such a great sensibility of humor. And if you do not appreciate it, then the problem definitely lies with you. I'm, I'm not quite at that level of, uh, of copium. I, it's just, I don't know, dude. Like, there are, some, there are some things in my life where I'm like, oh, I did so bad there, but... You know, there's there's like a there's a kind of a, an inspirational but funny picture online, and I believe it goes: don't kill the part of you that's cringe, kill the part that cringes. So deep, dude, you're so deep right now. I think it's kind of true though. You know, you gotta live your life kind of accepting who you are, and that's really hard. I'm still working on it personally, so like, don't take this as like an endorsement, as if I had every like thing together in my life. I definitely don't. But I'm just saying though, like. If you can be true to yourself, that's dope. That's, that's like, number one. That's, that's number one top priority. That's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure that, you know, you're doing the best you can for yourself, basically. Sometimes we get, like, these multiple level ups, and I'm always confused as to why. Like, I'm not really sure uh, why we're getting so many. I guess maybe because we killed the boss and we just got the XP from her? Really don't know, dude. I guess we could take some more max health. We haven't taken, like, that in a while. But I'm kind of more tempted to, to take other stuff. Because other stuff, um, turns out, deals damage. And I like dealing damage. Wouldn't you know it. The, the longer you play this game, by the way, the, the less you see of it. Which I think is a feature, not a bug. But it, it also, definitely, the number of shit on screen also increases the amount of, of neuron activation that you will experience. So I am definitely okay with, like, not even being able to tell what the hell is going on on my screen. As long as I see a lot of damage numbers and I can be like, yes, we are doing something. I'm not sure what it is, but at this point, I don't need to know. That's kind of the beauty of this game. If you if you get a run that is good, which we didn't get last time. Uh, I will say that in my experience, the first map is harder than this one. Because of the little, like, timer stuff that happens. The, the circles and whatnot. 
those are kind of like damage checks. On this map, the, the enemies change, and some of them are, are definitely tankier than others, but you don't get put into like a very crappy position, essentially. Of course, the, the downside of that is that the map is also significantly more simplistic. I mean, it is just a hallway. You get to go left or right, and that's basically it. But I think maybe it's a compromise that I'm personally willing to make, because this is so much easier than just being out in the open and having actual terrain to, to contend with and to think about positioning and, and like, notice the timer. This is the, the fun map, where you're just like, yo, I just want to come in here, like, you know, strap some items on my dude and have a good time. That's, like, what I'm here for. I just want to see, like, damage numbers and explosions. And I think we're seeing plenty of that, so we did a good job. I'm, I'm you know, feeling satisfied. Feeling good. But yeah, dude, if, if you can, like, accept a life tip from somebody that still needs to work on this, I would say just, like, figure yourself out, whatever you need to do, and just, like, stay true to yourself, basically. Find the, the stuff that you love doing. Accept that, you know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta do stuff that you don't like doing, but find a way to do it that it doesn't, like, mess you up, basically, in the long term. Because I think that's, that's what you want to avoid the most. If, if you do something, and I wouldn't say that you regret it, but like it eats away at you, the way you did it, or the fact that you did it, then that's bad. And you gotta find a way to like resolve that after the fact. But probably most importantly, you gotta find a way in the first place to just do stuff so that it doesn't mess you up completely. And that can just come down to the way you compose yourself, basically. And it is a struggle, like, it is something that I still struggle with. I, I generally go out of my way to, like, be agreeable with people. I try to, to make, like, a good first and, and lasting impression, basically. But oftentimes I catch myself thinking, like, oh, am I just being, like, too much of a bitch? Am I just, you know, like, letting people get away with, with too much? Am I giving, like, a mile, even though they're, they're only asking for an inch? Am I not, like, respecting myself? And... You know, in those situations, you do have to reevaluate. Like, you know, when you get the alarm bells in your head, then you, you have to consider, like, hey, man, maybe maybe there's a reason as to why I'm actually, like, feeling that way. So we got one of the, the evolved items now, um, which is kind of cool. Now, I think... I'm not really sure what determines which ones you get, to be honest. I think I've, I've heard online that it's supposed to be, like, recipe-based, so apparently some items uh, work with some other items, which is another reason why it might be worth like changing our loadouts. Because essentially like now we got the the extra health little thing that we don't normally take. So maybe we'll get access to different like items from chests as well. Uh, last time on this map, I was able to get like two of the items. One of them was this one. The other one I'm trying to remember. Oh, and I previously was able to to build like a version of the, the garlic that was like a health leechy thing, which was super cool. I don't know if we'll get a chance to do that. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head like what I was building at the time. Which is incidentally also why I'm kind of sticking to my guns on, you know, just leveling up the stuff that we have access to. Trying to be a better gamer. We can we can build a better gamer. I don't know if you can build a better gamer though. There's some really good people out there. Not, maybe not in this game. Like I I don't know if this is gonna be an esport. Kinda have my doubts if uh, if I'm if I'm completely honest. But you never know, dude. Like this day and age, anything could happen, man. But uh, even so, I don't think I'm gonna be one of them. One of them uh, esport gamers in uh, Vampire Survivors. Like I'm real good at like tapping WASD, but that's kind of all the skill that I can put on my resume. And uh, I think maybe someone like like Ninja or Shroud could you know get into this game on account of having like kind of a better resume when it comes to competitive gaming. Just just a little bit better, like, not a lot better. Like you know they they got like a couple extra sentences on there, but like not too many sentences on there. Just a few. They've only been in, like, the esports scene kind of all their life. I'm just, like, a fresh-faced nobody trying to get in there. I do believe you have to actually upgrade the, the item that you're going to be crafting um, to max. So that is something we, we got to keep in mind. Especially with, like, the health up thing. So basically going forward, if we see the, the health up thing, the empty heart. I think it's the empty heart. I don't know for sure. Uh, but we'll see if we, we find it. Basically, we want to pick that so that we have a chance to level it up. Similarly, let's see, Rune Tracer or Whip? I mean, Rune Tracer is, is getting closer to, to peaking, and funnily enough, that's a good thing, because again, it means that potentially we might like find a combination of items. If it is recipe-based, uh, the game doesn't really tell you. 
like explicitly what the recipes are. Now that I'm recording, I could probably check what the the infinity dagger thing uh, is made up of. Because you know the thing gets taken out of your your I wouldn't say like a hot bar, but it gets taken away from you. Yeah, we can we can get that I guess. I'm not sure if that like actually takes a slot or if it's just something that you get like in addition. It might actually be something that uh, you get in addition, to be honest, which is kind of cool, because it's like just located on the map. I'm not sure if the first map has something like that. I would assume that it does, because again, this game was built with a lot of like tender love and care, so I would not be surprised if there were like a ton of ton of things like that in the game. I mean, we want the, the empty tome for sure, because that maxes it out. It also is incredibly helpful as well, but the main reason we want this is again to, to see if we can get access to some other legendary items. Cause like, look at this, the, the knives that we're throwing, like, there's no delay. We're just like firing everywhere we go. It's a lot of damage. And you know, when we get to the end, you'll see that it's probably gonna do like the highest damage number, even if it wasn't the highest DPS. Cause obviously sometimes this doesn't connect. That's the main thing about it, but it is incredibly powerful, dude. And it is very funny. It reminds me a lot of uh, Brimstone and Mom's Knife from Binding of Isaac, like Rebirth. You know, now it's Repentance for the current version, but to me it's always going to be Rebirth, and to a lot of people it's going to be Rebirth, because it was Rebirth for years before it became Repentance, like late last year. Excuse me, I had to hydrate there. The throat was acting up a little bit. But yeah, man. Oh, we got a chest. Maybe we, we get to see if we built something cool. Let's just, let's just see. I mean, we still have plenty of items that aren't fully upgraded, so to be honest, I'm not going to be surprised if we, yeah, if we get something that is still kind of in the process of, of building. And that's fine. Again, Rune Tracer with an extra projectile is pretty good, though, as you can see. Those are the, the little, like, kind of arrow-looking things that we shoot out. They're basically, like, the diamonds that have, like, a, a rainbow tracer behind them. They're quite good. They bounce around, pierce through enemies, deal, like, relatively good damage. I, I like him quite a bit. There's a character that starts uh, with that item to begin with. But, you know, right now we're playing, like, the Barbarian guy because I wanted to, to kind of reminisce about my 1,000-plus my hour Barbarian in Diablo 3 with a dude that just has, like, two swords in his hand. Let's see. Uh, again, we can, like, get the maxed out version of Santa Water. And hopefully, like, maybe with the next item we get, that will allow us to, to build something cool. I look forward to it. The thing is, like... Just seeing all the things dying on the screen is plenty fun, so I don't really mind if we don't get to build the cool stuff, necessarily, because I'm just like, eh, we'll build it the next time. It's fine. I think this game has plenty of hours in it for me, where eventually I'll hopefully get to see, like, everything it has to offer. I kind of got a feeling that it may, it may in fact come to pass, that I'll get to experience every single thing in this game. And it is still in development, uh, as I mentioned before, I believe, that it is an early access title. So there's still, you know, a lot of stuff coming. Okay, so we were talking earlier about the Hollow Heart. I'm gonna take Hollow Heart with, like, the max. And there's a reason for that, because I've had Rune Tracer max out a lot before, and I've noticed uh, in the past that I kind of use similar items, because I usually really like the Area of Effect stuff, and I really like Garlic, I really like the, the Bible stuff. It's just, like, super powerful in my experience. Uh, so I kind of want to see, like, now that we have that, if we can make, like, another chest happen, if maybe we can get an item. It would be dope if we could get an item. I don't really see any, uh, like, I, I want to call them champions again, because I don't think they're really bosses. There is, like, a boss that we'll probably get to fight in, like, actually less than a minute, I believe, is when, when he spawns. You already got to see, like, uh, a handful of the bosses that this game has. Okay, so yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna get to to level it up, and we're gonna also level up the rune tracer, I guess the the whip, and the whip, and the whip, and the whip. So like everything other than the stone mask is now like fully masked, like maxed out, which is very very nice. So if we manage to make a chest and see it in all of this mess, then uh, we'll go and pick it up and see if we can't get, like, an item. If we have, like, multiple things available from the recipes, I imagine it's gonna come down to, like, blind luck. But to be honest, uh, just looking at this from the perspective of we got, like, cool endless daggers, um, I don't think I'm gonna complain, like, whatever we get. Although, of course, there's also the chance that we just keep getting the, the stone mask stuff as well, considering that that is something we haven't masked out, like, maxed out yet. Ma masked out? We, we have the stone max, but we haven't masked it out yet, of course, of course. 
Yeah, so this is like the boss monster of this level, I believe. The uh, the man, the, the sorcerer, the wizard dude. I don't know who he is. Read the fucking Dark Souls wiki if you want to know. I don't know these things. I just shoot. I just shoot daggers at everything, and like my garlic breath apparently kills the undead, so deal with it. I have no idea how much health he has. I'm not really worried about him surviving, though, to be honest, because we're just, like, throwing endless amounts of damage at him, essentially. So, he's holding up pretty good, but I don't got, like, a single doubt in my mind that he's about to die. It would be cool if he would have died, like, right then. There you go. There you go. It was, a, it was a little delayed. You know, it was a little delayed. Gotta forgive my man. We didn't rehearse it too much, but but he, he, knew, he knew his part. So, is that, like, a sausage, or is that, like, a different version of the whip? What, what is this? Bloody, bloody tear? Or bloody tear? Okay, I didn't get to read all of that. Oh, dude, that looks sick, though. Holy crap. That looks incredible. Maybe it's bloody tear, as in, like, you know, the tears made of blood. Could be bloody tear, though, because it tears the opponent and it makes the blood. I think it's got, uh, lifesteal from the looks of it, which is rather nice if it's if it's true. Probably should have read it instead of, uh, you know, debating what the pronunciation of the name was. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm kind of an amateur gamer, what can I say? So now we're kind of gunning for even more uh, boss monsters as a consequence, or champions. I think this might be a mini-boss, essentially, just from the size. And she is the boss that, like, pops up at, I believe, 15 minutes into the game. I don't know if we can build something else. Interestingly enough, the, the empty heart didn't get consumed. So, like, we still haven't used that up, basically, which is totally fine. It's just one of those uh, interesting things where I'm just like, hey, man, turns out, um, like, there's still a use for that item. Probably. I don't know. I guess we will see. Like I said, it's kind of interesting that there's so much stuff. How many levels does Stone Mask have? It has, like, another level. So we want to basically make a ton of XP... An actual, literal ton. Like, we need a truck, and we need it to be just completely full of XP so that we can get our hands on another level and max out the, the mess that we have. Which I don't believe we're making the most value out of, to be honest. It interacts with gold, and I'm not really looking for the gold pieces, like, actively. It's kind of sad when, when you say it like that, but maybe we'll figure that out as we, as we go on. But I wouldn't mind, like, filling up our XP bar just one more time uh, before potentially locating, like, a chest. So let's let's try to do that. I know that there's a, a little, like, boss monster following me. But as I said, I would rather uh, just harvest the XP from, from these uh, Medusa ladies that are, like, trailing us for the time being. I don't know if the rate at which we're gaining the XP is going to allow us to make everything happen that we want to happen, but we can definitely try. And I mean, you know, we mentioned it before that if you can't see the screen... Uh, there's a reason for that. Things are going absolutely crazy bonkers. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, probably, like, more true than ever before at the moment. We also incidentally killed the boss monster before we were able to get the XP. Now a sensible man would now, like, push towards the chest. And, uh, I'm gonna attempt to, to be a sensible man. I'm also still gonna attempt to stick to my guns and try my best to, like, make that level up happen. Because I think we might be able to. To be honest. And we did. So let's see. It's it's all maxed out. What are we gonna get at this point? We we already have every single one of our items, so if anything else is eligible for a recipe, or you know, we can just get money. But money is fine because we did just max out the the extra gold gain item that we have. So that's like not bad. It might just be that we just don't have like anything else left for recipes, basically. And to be honest, um it also could be that just the fact that we have the empty heart allowed us to craft the actual uh, bloody tear. Because when you think about it, having an item that adds to your max health and then getting a lifesteal whip, I don't know, it makes sense in my head, to be honest. Like, that's a recipe that actually seems logical for the most part. So you might be wondering, okay, what is the point of, like, still picking up XP? You already just established you leveled up everything else. Well, this is the point of it. You can either make some money out of thin air which is how I prefer to make my money in real life, although I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet, but I would definitely prefer to do it that way. It sounds really cool and very impressive. Or you can give yourself health in case, you know, you're, you're feeling like you're about to die and you want to keep going on for a little bit longer. You can just uh, pull a chicken, a roast chicken, out of midair, which is, again, how I would prefer to get roast chicken free of charge and out of thin air, um, zero-minute delivery. Sounds incredible, to be honest. I think I'd be a big hit at, like, parties. 
But uh, science just isn't there yet, unfortunately, in non-video game land. It's not quite something where we've been able to, to pull off functionally. And things are getting absolutely chaotic now, to the point that all this damage that we have, all this uh, stuff that we're throwing down range, just might not cut it, dude. But um, we're, we're doing our best, for sure, and we're trying to, to pick up some more stuff, obviously. It gets harder to track what's going on, for obvious reasons, as we mentioned. Things get a little hectic every now and then. We do we do a little bullet hell, as they often say. Uh, f funnily enough, though, like I'm looking at the screen, and there's still a little zone of uh, personal space in the center where we usually stand. So, I guess we're doing something, right? Because you know they they're not always breaching like through. I don't know, man. Throwing a lot of stuff. And that is death. I believe you can, in fact, kill him, but he's very hard to kill. We did do a slightly better attempt at killing him right there. This is what I was, like, setting up. If you get to 30 minutes, you get to fight death. And usually he wins. Turns out, he's kind of a meanie. But yeah, we can look at the stats here. Uh, we leveled up basically everything, and we got two legendary items. I don't know if that's what they're called. I'm calling them legendary items. I guess deal with it. Interestingly enough, Rune Tracer dealt the most damage. I definitely thought that it would be the Thousand Edge, but it's it didn't deal that much. However, DPS-wise, you know the Bloody Tear or Bloody Tear again. I don't I don't know what you're supposed to, to call it. I think we got some extra gold out of that. Oh yeah, we did. Super cool. We can we can spend some of that money, or we can you know choose to to hold on to it in an attempt to get revival later. I don't really know what the play there is to be honest. Like I don't know what is the better thing to do. Like I said, every single upgrade you buy makes the other upgrades more expensive because you're expected to do better once you get the upgrades. Kind of makes sense. So I don't know. Maybe we just won't spend them right now. And this has gone on way too long. I didn't think this video would go on for so long, but I had a lot of fun making it. And hopefully you stuck around to the end and had a good time listening to me just babble on and on about stuff. I don't even know what we talked about. That's scary. But hey, if you had a good time, I'm glad. And I will see you in the next one.